Hi friends, I'm excited to share a new layout with you for the Shimmers Paints design team. I am using the February color kits and they are absolutely beautiful. So I started this layout by taking the word love and a heart on my Cricut and I put it all together, made my own cut file for the background and attached the words together. So it's gonna be one sheet once I take it off of the cutting mat. And I left it on the cutting mat to go ahead and color the background. So I took four of the colors from the February color kits and I sprayed them and mixed them and added a whole bunch of color to the background. So those colors, I used the colorings, a bright fuchsia, which is a cute name, uh, the spritz taffy hour, the creamies one hot mama, and then the shimmers buddy's favorite color. So the colorings and the spritz are the sprays. So they come ready to use. You just shake them, mix them, make sure the colors are well mixed and add them on. The shimmers also comes ready to use. That's the buddy's favorite color, the red one. And then the creamies is the only one that comes dry and you just have to add water to it and then let it sit for a little while and it activates all of that beautiful color and that's a bright pink. So all of those colors mixed together on this background. I left it on the cutting mat so that while I was adding all of this wet medium, it wouldn't curl up too much on me. And I just used a basil white cardstock. So it's not a, not a fancy cardstock of any kind. It is a textured cardstock, but any white cardstock that you have will do. If you leave it on the cutting mat, the sticky mat, it does help to uh, maintain its shape while it's drying. And then I sat that off to dry. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. And then I started, this is gonna be my background sheet. I'm using uh, Vicki Booten's Foundations Mixed Media White Cardstock as the base. And I took, I think that's worn lipstick, Distress Oxide, and put that on the background. And you're not gonna see much of this. This is just gonna be behind the cut file. So it really, I needed it because I didn't want the background to be white. I wanted a bunch of color poking through and I kind of wanted it to be tone on tone. So that's the reason that I did this. You don't technically have to do anything on the background. You could put all of that colorful cut file down on a white piece of paper and you'd see the words stand out a little bit more, but I kind of wanted it to blend into the background. So I took the Distress Oxide was the main base and then I took all of the colors in the February color kits and just sprinkled those on, splattered them on and left. I tried to leave you know, a white border around the outside, but I definitely have splatters going all the way to the edge in some places. So I'm going to sit both of these. I actually did these on the same night. So I sat, I did both of the, the background and then that cut file and sat it off to dry overnight. And by the next morning, they were perfectly dry and ready to use. And I did not use, um, I do have the February bundle bonus bundles. I did not use the the gray color. I am going to use the sequins and those kinds of things, but I just use the colors in the color kit. Okay, so this is the cut file. I took it off the mat, off camera, took all the little pieces off, and I'm adding adhesive just to the center. So you saw me do like the bottom and the top are going to kind of curl up as they will. And then the center piece where all of my photos and all of the embellishments and everything are going to go, that's where I added adhesive. So now I'm going to use pattern paper. Well, first I'm going to frame my photos in just a white border. So that's just a scratch piece of white cardstock or a scrap piece of white cardstock that I had left over. So I'm going to add just a touch of white around the edge of the photos just to help them stand out from the pattern paper that I'm going to be putting behind them. And then I'm using paper from the February color kits, the paper kit to add to my layout so this beautiful i love this is my favorite i think one of my favorite pattern papers in the collection so it's a beautiful pink it matches the um, spritz taffy hour really well and the creamies hot mom one hot mama uh, but it has a bunch of arrows with like little hearts on them and all different kinds of arrows on that pattern paper so you can't see that very well once i cover it once i put the photos on top of it but you can see all the little arrows poking out behind it. So I'm putting my two photos down on that piece of pattern paper and I am distressing the edges of it using my Tim Holtz edge distressor. You could also use scissors if you don't have that tool. 
I use my scissors just as often to distress paper as I do that tool, I think, actually. And then this heart patterned paper. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. I love everything about that piece of patterned paper as well. So I'm going to make kind of a bigger mat behind the photo because I want the hearts to show. So I am going to do kind of just a little matted section there. Before I glue it down, I'm going to distress the edges of it. I'm going to trim that down just a little bit because I had it a little bit too big. So I'm going to distress those edges. And then between this piece of paper and the photos, and I don't think I do it yet, but I am going to put craft foam between those two layers just so it's there's a little bit of separation between them. But first I'm going to kind of play with my embellishments, see where I want them to go. So all of these embellishments and that cute little um, ombre little card on the left side, all of this comes with the February color kits from Shimmers Paints. So I am going to trim the edges off of that. I made it a little bit smaller because I kind of just want it peeking out behind my photos. So I'm going to glue that down. And that background cut file, I only adhered it. You saw me adhere it down the center, but everything I add on top of it that's got glue, wet glue to it is also helping it, helping it stick. So every layer I add adds a little more adhesive to it. Okay, and that was craft foam behind my photos. So that kind of sits up a little bit from the heart patterned paper. And now as I'm tucking embellishments in and things, I have a place for those to be able to tuck into. I'm gonna glue in that card there. And because everything else on the layout is pretty linear and straight, I wanted at least one element to be a little bit crooked or off center uh, so that uh, the ombre card kind of is that element for me on this layout. And there are tons of beautiful pieces of ephemera and embellishments and things in the February kit. And they're all perfectly color coordinated with all of the colors in the pattern paper and then the paints and everything. So it's a perfect, it's an easy collection to work with for sure. And I have lots of Valentine's photos and sweet, sweet pictures to scrapbook from all the different years. So this is um, some sweet pictures of my baby girl. And then the bottom picture is her playing with my sweet boy. So they were, it was actually on Valentine's Day a few years ago. And they were playing in the kitchen with some of their new little Valentine's treats. And now I'm just distressing the edges of some of the embellishments. So they all do have a white border. And if you know me, you know, I usually like to cut white borders off, but I actually liked the white borders on these when I distressed them. Um, cause it kind of gave like that, a good white distressed edge. And then it also helped it set apart from the photos and the, the matting that I had around it. So I left the white borders on this time and just distressed those white borders. And here I'm creating just a few few little clusters. So the top right, um, middle left, and then bottom right. I'm going to have little clusters of sweet embellishments. And this one, I love this little arrow. It's a heart with an arrow going into it. It's so cute. So I have everything kind of popped up on craft foam, different layers of craft foam, or different thicknesses of craft foam so that everything is at kind of different levels. So the layout in person definitely has lots of great dimension to it. And then the cut file on the background just added some texture. It's not a super overwhelmingly, um, you know, it doesn't, I didn't, by putting pink behind it, it helps it kind of blend into the background a little bit, but it definitely adds great texture and some visual interest back there. And you can see the pink behind it helps it kind of all blend in a little bit. If I had left the background sheet white, like if I had just left it solid white, that cut file would stand out a lot more. So if you wanted that look, like if you wanted the cut file to, to kind of be a standout element on the layout, if you left it a contrasting color like the white against the reds and pinks, that would definitely create that. But I kind of wanted it to blend in, so I added tone on tone. And you see it, but it's not like the first thing that you see. I want my photos to be the first thing that you see.
And then there were epoxy stickers, like little flare flare stickers in the February kit. So I use all three of those on this layout, I think. Yes, I use on the bottom, bottom right corner that little black epoxy flare. And then there's two hearts on the left. <clears throat> the pink heart and the red heart are, are both there. And then these this beautiful sequin set. Oh my gosh, there's so many fabulous sequins, different types of sequins and little embellishments in that little set. That is from the bonus, the February bonus bundles. So I'm using lots of little different pieces from that. And I'm just gluing them to the background. I didn't do any hand sewing or hand stitching on this layout, which is unusual for me. <laughs> I usually add something at least, but these, I loved how they looked glued down to the background. So I have those glued down in little clusters all around. And they're small and kind of teeny tiny shiny, so they add some good visual interest to the final layout. And then the last thing I did is I took these liquid pearls in that silver, kind of like a charcoal silver color, and then red and pink pops of color. And I just added those to the little sequin clusters around the page. And here is some close-up video of the final layout. You can kind of see those sequins are shiny and the background def definitely has a beautiful shimmer with all of those beautiful paints. And even with all the embellishments, my photos, I still think, stand out and love that memory that I've captured here. If you have any questions, pop them down in the comments. I'd love to answer them. Remember to put my name on your shimmers order in the comment section, Sarah Miller House, to receive a free gift. Have a great day, guys. Bye.